Hi, I'm Luke Covey, Editorial Director of New Tech Press, and this is the first in a series of interviews and reports on what we're calling the quest for the $10,000 chip. How can we make semiconductors less expensive to design and manufacture? First, a word about the video format that we're using today. It comes from a company called MeBox Media, and it allows for a much more interactive experience on online video. The gray bar on the side will open up in time with various content in the video that allow you to go deeper into the subject matter. And as you hover your cursor over the screen, you'll see three buttons will open up that will allow you to share all or part of the video on various uh, social media platforms and also send a direct email to me to ask questions or make comments that you may not want to have in a public discussion. So we're going to start off with uh, the, in this episode with the first part of an interview series with Gary Smith of Gary Smith EDA, who is a well-known EDA industry analyst. And we're going to talk about whether we can make a chip for $10,000 and even if we want to. The idea of the $10,000 chip. Right. And you've already said that that's being done all the time yeah. through FPGAs. Right. Okay. And yet it's still costing us 10 to $20 million to bring a chip to market. Uh, a lot more than that. Even. Yeah, a lot more than that. Yeah. So where is the disconnect? Well, as far as an FPGA is already basically made. So the cost of the uh, initial wafer runs and all that is being covered by your FBA company, right? right? Um, they also give you the, the software for free, the development software. So they're giving you all of the background cost structure to to build their to talk them into building their FPGA. Right. Okay. Um, FPGAs have problems of costs. Of, and of power are the two major, major problems. Um, but if you do the curve, that cost doesn't arrive or, or really hit you hard until you're at, you know, uh, maybe a hundred thousand uh, devices. So at a hundred thousand devices, uh, then it becomes okay. We have to put this into a uh, an, uh, an ASIC basically uh, to get the cost cost down and the power down right. if you have a power problem uh, so th those that's where the division point but below that you know, th th they do fine um, as long as you're not trying to get their use their highest volume part I mean you know, your highest uh, gate count part mm -hmm. those things cost thousands of dollars a piece um, but still the cost of design is driven by a couple of things, well, three things. The cost of design is driven by um, engineering, that's the most expensive part. Uh, EDA tools are, are fairly expensive, uh, although compared to the engineering time, they're, they're lunch money. Uh, and then the NRE to get the, the uh, device into production. So th those are your three big hunks that you have to have to look at. W when you get to high volume, uh, the uh, the cost to get it into production becomes negligible. Also, I'm well, not negligible, but I mean it, it's just not not a big factor. It's, it's all the cost of design. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you uh, want to do a a design in an IC instead in a uh, uh, instead in FPGA, you can do, and let me refer to my notes so I don't screw it up, uh, you can basically do two million gate design in a month at a cost of 29, um, $29,858. Uh, and the EDA tools, and, the, and I, I took a look at the most inexpensive on the market, for the top end, is uh, twenty thousand four hundred ninety-five dollars. Yeah, Aldec is uh, is the one that came in the best price for a good tool okay. uh, for the uh, simulator and for the synthesizer. But the problem we, you run into 
is for the, your timing analyzer has to be qualified by a FAB. And so for that tool, for the, that and the verification tools, I went to Mentor because they have qualified tools at the FABs. Uh, and they have a very nice low-end package, uh, verification tools, uh, for 15000 only 15000 So that's a, a, a package of good tools. You can do the job, knock it out in a month, get a two million gate design, and you'll you'll come in. Then you have to hit the going into production costs. And, and unfortunately, when you go to a fab, if if you go in, uh, you're, you're going to pay, you know, two hundred fifty thousand uh, for multi-project wafers. Although I, I've I've heard of better deals on multi-project. I, I need I would need some quotes on that, recent quotes on that to see how that's done. And that's for a 90 nanometer part, okay. which is the really the lowest in production, you know, the highest in uh, production. You can bring this in under a million dollars fairly easily. Yeah, okay. yeah you can. All right. And you say this is being done all the time? Yeah. Okay. So why isn't there more investment into the, the creation of new semiconductors? Uh, that's starting to blossom right now. Okay. Uh, one of the things that it, it's it's doing it is that well, uh, two things happened. The recession, uh, the great great recession happened. Uh, but what what also we saw was that the cost of design at that point was going up very, extremely high. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been working on that, and now you've got platform based design where you can uh, multi platform based design which in 2011 cut the cost of doing design by 44 percent. Okay. So also in the money, it, it, we're starting to get back down there. Okay. We're, we're, uh, we're, we've still got a little ways to go, but we're still, you can do now a very good design for uh, about, uh, I think it's about 29 million dollars. Okay. And where do you think, it, where, where have you said that the, the break point is for actually enticing investors to get involved in this again? 25. 25. So yeah. we're about four million dollars away. We're, we're about four million dollars. Okay. So it's it's getting there. Okay. Mm -hmm.